Howdy y'all. Thank you for joining us for the news today. It's been a pretty exciting couple of weeks because of releases from all your favorite games and stuff. So let's dive right into it. So right off the bat, we're going to jump right into, instead of doing just a Black Friday after Thanksgiving sale, we're actually going to kick it off today with some sales starting out. We're going to do it starting today all the way up until December the 1st. If you want to know more about these sales, make sure to go to our Facebook. It'll be in the comments down below. Click on that Facebook, check it out. We'll make sure to use the same picture. We'll make sure to also just always add to the sales. So you'll always see the old sales and then we'll just keep adding to them. So check out those sales because we're going to be giving out a lot of good sales and take advantage of them. We already started one already at the moment. I can go ahead and let you kind of know about it. I'll go ahead and add it on there as the number one sale. Is right now all of our magic booster boxes, the standard magic booster boxes. So like Eldraine, Theros, Core 21, Ikoria, Zendikar Rising. We are doing those all at just the regular draft booster boxes are all $100 each. And we'll be doing that all the way up until December the 1st. As long as we have them in stock, I'll also be trying to get more in stock. I'm not going to just go up. Oh, we sold out of that. Uh, if I can still get the booster boxes, I will keep getting them in stock and we will do them at $100. So come check that out if you want to pick up one of those booster boxes. But I know that's not what you're thinking about. You want Commander Legends. And we'll use that as the lead in. We'll go ahead and go straight into magic. Right off the bat, let's talk about it. Commander Legends, yes, I know y'all did pre-order a bunch of stuff from us. And I do appreciate the pre-orders. Unfortunately, Magic did not send us a ton of booster boxes to be able to hand out all the pre-orders that we got from y'all. So at this point, we're just not handing out the booster boxes. Uh, any booster boxes you saw on the YouTube channel were basically just ones that I opened up or someone else opened up for the store, and they were ones that were sent to us for that purpose. Uh, we are trying to make sure we have the ones just for selling the pre-release uh, at-home kits. Speaking of the pre-release pre -release home, at-home kits, we are selling those starting today. You can come pick those up. It is $30. You get five booster packs, three of those for drafting and two for your prize support. Come pick those up for your friends uh, so that you can also just get together and do a draft. I did hear word that there may be people showing up to the shop tonight uh, thinking that pre-release is happening. We are not doing pre-releases. We are not able to host a pre-release. But if you come up to the store, I know in the evening there may be, as long as there's room in the store and we don't have to make sure, we do have to make sure we don't have too many people in the store, there are some players who are just going to get together and kind of hold their own little draft. You can see if you want to jump in on that if you buy it, but basically, yes, come pick up your pre-release kit. Come enjoy this set. It does look like a great set if you watch some of the videos. It looks like it's a cool thing to draft. And just so that you know the way the draft works in this, it is not like a normal draft. Well, let's start with the draft rules just in case you don't know. Basically, right off the bat, if you buy a box, or I'll, I'll start saving, see if I can save some of the ones that we open from the things. They actually have the rules there on how to do a draft plus do a draft with this set. So what a draft is, is you would normally get a booster pack. You would get three booster packs. You would sit down with your friends. You would open one booster pack and you would take one card, put it down in front of you, and then pass the rest of the cards over to the person to your left. So the person to your right is going to be handing you the rest of their pack missing one card. And then you would go through that, pick another card, put that one down in front of you face down, and then pass to the left again and continue to do that till the booster pack runs out. Once the booster pack runs out and everybody is okay and now all their packs ran out, you go ahead and open the next booster pack. This one goes to the right and you do the same thing. And then when that one runs out, you open the last booster pack and do it to the left and do the same thing. And then normally you build a 40 card deck from what you, of the pool of what you drafted, and then you play a tournament via that deck that you built. Commander Legends has a few little differences. So with Commander Legends, the packs are bigger and you can pull more rares inside of them. So in this one, you get to make two choices instead of one when you do the booster pack. So in this one, you will take the two boost, you'll, you'll do it just like you did a normal draft, you just take two every pick instead of one every pick. Also, another change is, since it's supposed to be commander, you will choose a commander that will be out of your game. All the cards in your deck do have to correspond with that commander. Now, the difference is you are not 
restricted by Singleton. You can have multiple of the same card within the deck because that's the way draft works. Draft does make it to where every card you draft is available into your pool. The only restriction with the Commander Legends is it has to be restricted to your commander's color. But the rest of it could be if you draft four of this one card, you get to play with four of it inside your Commander Legends draft deck. And then the only other change is it's now you're not making a 100 card deck, you're making a minimum 60 card deck. Other than that, you just follow the same rules and play and have fun. That's the main rule. Have fun. That's what this is about. It does look like it is a fun format to draft. Uh, unfortunately, things being the way they are made it to where the draft can't really happen. I'm hoping they do this thing again. Like I know all the master sets when they set those up for draft, they were extraordinarily fun to draft. So I think this one will be one also. And another thing we're talking about since we're talking about Commander, Commander Green. We are taking the pre-orders on Commander Green now. Unfortunately, we are not a premium store. We do not have the Commander Green premiums, which are the foil versions of the cards. If you do want those, you will have to find a premium store and get those. Unfortunately, I, I suppose I've been preaching it for a while. Hopefully you got that in earlier because already people are already jacking up the price on these. And there's even some stores that are canceling the pre-orders they did. And, and so if you did get a pre-order with somebody and you got it at a good price, which is around $100, 80 to $100, you should double check to make sure that they still are keeping and honoring that pre-order. Uh, most, most honest stores will, but there are stores out there that are all of a sudden saying, oh, we're not getting that a lot then. It's because all of a sudden now a premium Commander Green is going for, well, premium pricing and it's going extraordinary. And a lot of stores are not wanting to just take that loss in money that they can just make by selling it at a bigger price. Do make sure to make sure you have that. I would hate for you to mix, miss out because you think you got it or you uh, hopefully you didn't get messed around. I wish we could have made sure we had the Commander Green foil. Um, I was pushing for it. We just weren't, we just missed the deadline. And that's what happens. Um, and we're, we're still not, as I said, we're still not a premium store, but we're right there. It just, it wasn't enough to be able to get to the Commander Green level. Um, we are doing the regular Commander Greens, though, the non-foils. And we are doing those at, we're going to be doing them at $50 um, at MSRP. But the pre-orders, and we have already started taking pre-orders, the pre-orders are at 45 we will start the pre-orders at 45, so if you want to get it, make sure you got this. Come in, make sure your name's on the list. And it is a pre-order, so that means just putting your name on the list does not mean anything. It means you need to pre-pay ahead. That's the point of a pre-order. It makes it easier on us as a store, so we offer a cheaper price because it made it easier. Do come in, get those pre-orders if that's what you want. The Commander Green looks hot. I know I'm going to be trying to find a foil version for myself because green is my favorite color in Magic, so that's the way I'll be going. I need to have the Commander Green foils, but it is what it is. All right, next thing we're going to talk about is Pokemon. Pokemon, we y'all had y'all's new set come out, Vivid Voltage. We are sold out of Vivid Voltage, and right now my distributor is sold out of Vivid Voltage. I'm trying to get more. I'm checking with other distributors, but y'all's stuff has been hot for a while and for a hot minute. I even ordered more than I normally order and got shorted and still just got my normal allotment and then that sold out immediately. And unfortunately, I understand if there was the confusion, there was a lot of people who thought, oh, well, we thought the set released Friday. It does release on Friday or today, I guess I should say. The problem is, or the, the problem that came up is basically not really a problem. It's because we did host the pre-releases for Pokemon, that meant we were able to sell them on Monday. And that is the date that always happens now. So when it's a regular Pokemon set, if there is a pre-release for the set, then we get to actually sell them on the Monday before it comes out. So... People weren't aware of that. This is the reason I always push, man, if you want those pre-orders, make sure to get the pre-orders. So if you want to pre-order that next set, we're not taking pre-orders right now as I say this, but just be aware, every set, we always offer a pre-order of $150 and it gets you a booster box of the new Pokemon set and an elite trainer of the new Pokemon set. So a lot of people did take advantage, or I should say a lot of people, some people did take advantage of that this last time. And that's the reason why when people showed up to get things, we were sold out. Because once we handed out our pre-orders and then we had a few boxes and people bought those up, that's it. And we even restricted it to one box per person. We even didn't let our guys that done pre-orders get more until the next day. I mean, we're trying to restrict it as much as possible to make sure it does get spread out, but 
it's just going fast and the product is not being printed up. I mean, with things the way they are, it's just the way it is. Everything, every game's having problems with these print runs, so it's where it's at. Another thing is with those pre-orders, people will, well, I want multiple boxes. If you do a pre-order, we do allow you to have multiple boxes at that point. Because basically, if you do the Blitzkrieg bundle and you buy 150 bucks, you get the box and the Elite Trainer, every box you want to add on to that on pre-order is only $100. So that can take up a lot of the allotment also. Now, nobody took advantage of that this time. That is something we've always offered. So if you want that, make sure if you want multiple boxes, you know you want multiple boxes to set, you have to make sure to get that pre-order in. And the pre-order date ends the first week of pre-release because basically, like I said, it's all about when we can get that extra money to help alleviate our cost towards it, which is why we offer a better price. Plus, if I'm able to, before that time period, show my distributors that, hey, I have this many sales, this is the extra product I want, sometimes they're able to squeeze, I'm able to squeeze out a few more. That's not guaranteed, but I'm used to usually always going to make sure to pre-order. And then the other thing is if you pre-ordered, I'm going to make sure you get your boxes first before I make anything off of anything else. So that's another reason you want to get that pre-order in. It means that you guarantee you're getting it. You don't come all the way up here and then, oh, it's not there. But anyways, that's a long diatribe. Long story short, please start doing the pre-orders, guys. And I mean, it's a ways off for the next set, but I do feel bad when y'all come in and I ain't got it for y'all. And I try to hold, like I said, I try to restrict it. It just doesn't happen. All right, Yu-Gi-Oh, just a couple things to go over here. We did get your maximum gold in. We are doing maximum golds at $30 a piece. But actually, we decided last night we're going to go ahead and honor another Black Friday sale here. And that Black Friday sale is going to be we're doing maximum golds at $25 a piece. If you want the maximum gold, it does look amazing. If you look, we have a box opening on the video. I'll try to make sure to link that down in the comments below. And with locals, we are doing locals on Monday. We do have OTS 14s. I know we had that problem where we didn't have prize support for a while. I feel bad about that. I really wish I could have made sure that we had it. I hated storing packs. I, it just took me a while to figure out how we make sure that we're getting the OTS 14 so we have it for the locals. I know a lot of stores, I, I, I really don't understand it, guys. Y'all hear me say it all the time. I don't understand how the stores that get these OTSs and then sell the OTSs have enough. I don't have enough to even hand out for y'all for price support, much less try to sell these. I don't, I don't get it. But y'all know me. We're not going to do that. We're going to have those OTS 14s as long as we do. Um, when we start getting low on them, I'm going to ask for more and try to make sure we can do it. But we do have those, so show up for the locals. Um, the more people we have show up, whenever I make that request, the more they're going to send us. But it also means when they get the new OTS pack, they're going to look at everything that, as far as numbers that we have, and they're going to make sure to send us even more of those. So numbers help, guys. And with everything that's going on in the world and all the craziness going on right now, be friendly to each other, be kind to each other. Or as I say, our motto for our store, be excellent to each other. I know it's taken from a movie. It's been one of my favorite quotes for forever, ever, my whole life. And that's all I say is be excellent to each other. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.